Look at all those birdies. Linda, there's birdies. Get the birdies. Get them. Go get them. Go get them. Look at them all. Get the birdies. Get them. Get them. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's something about that tree that all these, like, starlings are just flocking that one tree and driving Linda crazy. Anyways, guys, today we're going to talk about rain delays. We're going to go over what's going on with this crazy rain pattern we've got in and uh, the issues that it's causing for me and some of the issues it may cause for you. So hold on one sec. Before I get started, make sure you understand that the Bermuda Lawn Guide is out. Uh, it has everything that you need to know. People ask questions all the time in the comments and half the time I'm just promoting, I'm just putting a link to the Bermuda Lawn Guide because their questions are answered there. So it's bermudalawnguide.com. Uh, just go over there and everything, the calendar, everything is on there. So it's a real good resource for you. Also, make sure you click that subscribe button. Uh, that way you can be involved in our giveaways. We're going to be doing giveaways every month like two or three hundred dollars worth of lawn products every month so make sure you click that subscribe button so let's talk about what's going on in the last video uh well the video before last i talked about this stupid rain that we're having it's been horrible it's just it, it's like two days of no rain and then three days of rain three days of rain three days of rain oh. so <laughs> Yesterday I put up a video about not putting out pre-emergent on saturated lawns. And we, I talked about putting things like uh, pre-emergent on saturated soils and you really got to avoid that. So the plan was, is we had four days with no rain. We we're going to come out here and do all this stuff. And guess what? Sunday it rained and it saturated the soil. So we had to put everything on pause. And that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about rain delays. So let me walk down here and show you my lawn. See that water there? See how... Look at that. You can see the standing water here. Now this is a low area next to the pool. I've got standing water over here. But... Look at that. So this is what I'm talking about. If I were to put, shut up. So if I were to put pre-emergent down in this area, guess what? <laughs> it's not gonna soak into this soil. It's not going in. And so when you put something on your lawn that has to go into the soil, you gotta be really careful. You gotta have, you gotta have three or four days where you let your soil dry out so that when you put something like a granular down on it or even a liquid spray, it's gonna go into the soil and not wash away, leach away. So, all right, so let me tell you what we did get done. We were able to come out here and put down our, part of our quick start program. Now in the Bermuda Lawn Guide, I talk about the Jump Start program, which really is a soil conditioning program. I'm gonna go get my gun. I'm tired of this. That's the luckiest crow. <laughs> That's the luckiest crow in the neighborhood right now. All right, so anyways. <laughs> Let's get back to what I was talking about. So we had this four day window of no rain supposedly gonna show up. So Jacob came out and we put down a granular fertilizer, the Jumpstart program, you put down a little bit of 10, 10, 10, and you put down Humachar that conditions your soil and your, when your lawn finally wakes up, say maybe late March, early April, your lawn is gonna wake up into this really healthy environment. And it's going to look, it's going to be better looking than any other yard in the neighborhood. Trust me. So we got the humichar out. Uh, we got the fertilizer down. I'm bumping my phosphorus up because my soil test showed that I was low on phosphorus. I got the humichar down. I did that as part of the weed treatment. And then I was able to spray some image and some weed killer. Unfortunately, uh... Sunday morning, I woke up and my wife's like, you know, it's raining outside. I was like, what? She goes, yeah, it's raining. So I come out here and it's raining. And it rained for like three hours out here on Sunday. I was not supposed to have rain. So what does that mean? That means that all my soil got saturated again. 
So my soil got completely saturated again. We were gonna come out here um, on Monday and put out pre-emergent. Nope, I'm not gonna do it. I've got a ton of pre-emergent sitting in the garage and I'm not gonna put out my pre-emergent until my soil is dry enough to absorb it. I want you to understand that. Uh, fortunately, the good thing for us, now I'm in, we're located in Northeast Georgia, the good thing for us is we've got some really cold temperatures moving in later this week. It's gonna get down to 26 degrees. So we're cool um, in delaying the pre-emergent treatment. I'm okay with it. But I gotta tell you, now my lawn, all the lawns that are out here are, are long and brown. So they're anywhere from like an inch and a half to like three and a half inches. And they're all that dead brown look. It looks dormant. When you look at my backyard, we kept this really short this year and you can see what's really going on here. And because we put down our fertilizer and we put down the humichar, my lawns want to come up. <laughs> my lawns want to wake up, I'm telling you. The combination of the humichar and just a little bit of fertilizer is the bomb. And in a couple of weeks, I'll have a video ready for you about this cheap organic matter that's $15, $16 for a 50 pound bag. And so basically what we'll be focused on this year, and especially during the summer, is putting out humichar with organic matter. And that right there will actually feed our lawn very nicely all during the summer. Remember, we're putting out PGF complete. Um, come the that that'll be our fertilizer in the beginning of the spring. And by the way, 40 pound bags are now on Amazon. Just to let you know, there's 18 and 40 pound bags. So there's 18 pound bags and 40 pound bags of PGF complete. Uh, and that's the fertilizer. That's the first real lawn fertilizer we'll be using. We'll be putting out PGF complete, and then during the summertime. We, we will probably put out a little bit of PGF complete, but we're really gonna be putting out humichar and organic matter. And it's, it, you'll be shocked at what it does. The testing from last year and the test strips that we've done, I'm telling you, it's just amazing. So let me show you, I'm gonna show you a comparison of what the dead brown looks like compared to what the back, and you can sort of get a visualization of why you don't use a total killer real quick. Okay, so this is what everyone's Bermuda is supposed to look like. You see that? It's nice, dead and brown looking long fuzzy let's go over let's look at the world's worst lawn over here now this lawn over here has some wild onion that we need to spray better and fuzzy okay so this is what Bermuda is supposed to look like here we are brown and fuzzy okay so what I'm gonna show you now is I'm gonna show you my backyard that's really short we kept this three quarters of an inch <laughs> and uh, ignore the poana patches because they'll be dead soon but look at the difference this is the exact same turf as everything else look at how green this is look at that isn't that crazy that is just crazy and that's because it's shorter so you can see what really is going on with the plant even though it's quote unquote dormant, it's alive. If you spray a killer down on this, it's gonna kill it. The other thing is, is we put down humichar and I put down a high phosphorus fertilizer, like a, what was it, do you remember? It was like a 15, 25, 10 or something like that, just to get more phosphorus in here. But I've got a strip over here, I'll show you later on. It's a test strip. And let me tell you what, <laughs> all we're doing is putting down humichar and organic matter on it, plus our normal treatments. And let me tell you what, look at that. This is February. That's February. So one of the secrets to this year is gonna be making sure we get a real good coverage with our granular pre-emergent, come back in a few weeks after that, hit it with the liquid pre-emergent. Putting down humichar, a little bit of 10, 10, 10. And then once we get to the point that our grass is ready to grow, PGF complete. And during this summer, we'll be doing all kinds of videos about putting humichar and organic matter down. Here go those birds. There goes Linda. Look at them, crazy. Birdies, Linda, birdies, come here. 
So anyways, guys, um, I figured I'd just give you a little bit of an update on where we are and where you should be. Again, we're in northeast Georgia, um, and we got another cold spell coming in, which is quite normal. We've got 20s coming in this week. The quick start program of Humachar and a 10-10-10, do that now. You can do that anytime. Humachar will be available within the next week or two on Amazon. You go to humachar.com. There's a link there. It'll take you over there. You put down your Humachar, which is humic acid and biochar mix. Um, put down a little bit of 10, 10, 10, and that's your soil correction. Now, if you got a soil test and your lawn says you're low on phosphorus, add some extra phosphorus, or if it says it's low on something. Otherwise, if you didn't get a soil test, a little bit of 10, 10, 10. Then, granular pre-emergent. This is all in the calendar in the Bermuda Lawn Guide. We'll put down our granular first. Granular um, lasts longer and penetrates the soil better, and there's a link to the granular fertilizer in the page below. Just go to the link below. So we've got uh, the Jumpstart program with the Humichar 10-10-10, granular, granular pre-emergent. The next thing we'll be doing, obviously, is then you'll come by once your grass turns totally green all over, or you can see sprouts everywhere and the temperature is normal, then we're going to scalp it, and then we're going to put down PGF complete. And that's pretty much for the, the end of it. Now, if you had grubs, I do want to warn you, if you had grubs uh, in the fall, there are two times to treat grubs, and you want to treat them when they're a little bit smaller. So springtime and in the fall are when we treat for grubs. So let's say, um, for me, I would say when temperatures start to get up into the 70s, uh, maybe touching on A's a little bit, that's when you're going to want to put down um, your double kill, and I'll put a link to that down there too. But you don't have to worry about that right now. But if you did have grubs, you're going to want to treat your grubs in the spring. Again, spring and fall for grubs. You're going to watch, want to watch your lawn for um, fungus once the temperature starts to warm up. And there's a brand new granular fungicide that if you want to just put it out as a preventative, you can. And I'll be doing a video on that as well, too. So, anyways, guys, just a little update. Didn't shoot anything. Don't worry. And uh, the next video I will probably do... We're going to be putting down the pre-emergent, the granular pre-emergent. We're going to come back here. The other ish thing we got to do is, <clears throat> I've got some rotten fence posts back here, and I'm going to have my guys come over, and I'm going to show you guys. I'll probably do a video on how to replace rotten fence posts. You know, where they kind of snap off at the ground, and I got some that are leaning, so we'll replace some uh, fence posts back here. And that's about it. Talk to you later, Doc.